And this morning, many businesses are getting more time to comply with Obamacare. Major Garrett is at the White House with the latest delay in the troubled rollout. Major, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora and Charlie. President Obama's top health care advisors described this change, and this is their word, as a common sense answer to genuine fears in the business community that the Affordable Care Act's employer mandate is still too costly and complicated. Here is what is different. The Obama administration has, for the second year, delayed the mandate for businesses with 50 to 99 employees to provide health insurance or face a fine. That mandate was to begin in January of 2015. Now it begins in January of 2016. This affects about 115,000 businesses. The other big delay affects just under 100,000 businesses, those with more than 100 employees. Those businesses have to provide health insurance in 2015, but to 70% of their workforce instead of the 95% originally required. All these changes only affect full-time employees, and most businesses, those with less than 50 employees, do not have to deal with the Obamacare employer mandate at all. Now, Republicans contend this change illustrates the law's fundamental flaws, both practical and political. House Speaker John Boehner also cites this and other Obamacare delays as the White House rewriting the law to fit its political needs on its own terms. The White House answer? Implementing Obamacare is complicated and there's nothing wrong with giving businesses more time to adjust. Charlie and Nora? All right, Major, thank you.